G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the solo stove alcohol burner, but this time we're going to be cooking bacon and eggs on it. So let's give you the weight and dimensions of, of this before we get started. The weight is 3.5 ounces, which is 100 grams. Diameter 2.9 inches, which is 7.4 centimeters. Height 1.8 inch, which is 4.6 centimeters, and the material is brass. And the fuel they've got on here is denatured alcohol. So let's show you the box. Flash little box. Now I'm filming this in my backyard again today, so you'll have to excuse the noise of any dogs in the background or vehicles going by down the road and stuff. Okay, my solar stove, the alcohol burner, I keep in with my solar stove light. So let me show you this. And the frying pan I'll be using today is the smallest one by Tokes, the titanium frying pan. And that actually nests really nice if you're just going to carry the solo load solo stove light as you can see it, it sits nice on the top of that and if you're going to have this sat inside the 900 mil solo stove pot let's get it for you let's get it out of the bag I if Excuse me a moment. Okay, this is the 900ml pot. A little frying pan sits on top of there, quite nice. So, let's get this all put together for you and show you what the video is about. So, there's our smallest version of the Tokes Titanium frying pan and this is the solo stove light and in there I have the alcohol burner from the solo stove and that sat inside that nice and comfortable there we go that's in there nice inside let's put it all back again inside the solo stove that will rattle around a bit so maybe put your lighter or something in there to keep it quiet as you're walking let's quickly go over we've got the the simmer top here or the simmering which is nice and secure on top of the burner which we can open and close now today is going to be the first time I've used this one on here, so we're learning at the same time. It's a nice little clip there to hold it into place. Put it to one side for now. And here we go, the actual alcohol burner. Now I've filled it up level with this again. And that took 100 mil. If you look at here, we've got a concave bit going all the way around. I use that for pre priming, so I'll put a bit of the alcohol fuel in there, and I like that at the same time as lighting the fuel inside, and that'll heat up the jets on the outside at the same time as the flames on the inside gets drawn up and heats it and brings it to a bloom. And I did that in the last video, and it did speed up the time it took for the bloom to come through, which I was impressed with. And there's a lid with the rubber gasket or rubber seal. And I have had this stored in here for about three weeks or maybe more actually thinking about it. And I've been taking it out and giving it a shake, turning it upside down, and I've had no leakage at all. hundred mil when I did the boil test 
lasted 25 minutes so I was well impressed with that so here we go let's get the primer bit done a bit of fluid in there come on a little bit too much but that'll be okay Yeah, a little bit of a better view. I'll bring this back down in a moment. So I'll light the outer one and that lights the inner one for me at the same time. flies out here today so if you hear you blowing I'm blowing them away from my face okay let's put this on and use this as a wind block the pot stand and in that short time it's already started to bloom and you can see the little whirlwind I call it flame which is going to concentrate it to the bottom of the frying pan I don't know what we'll do with this. We'll put it about halfway because I don't want a full flame underneath. And that that doesn't work very well in with the solo stove. But we've got a smaller flame there, so let's get this on there. So A large bit of bacon which I've already chopped up. Actually, it was about one and a half large piece rashers of bacon going in this. So there's a sizzle. There's always a good sound in the morning. Give that a little bit of a stir around in there. Yep, that's going. Let's just put this pot back in its bag out the way. Tidy up as we go. Good housekeeping. Whether you're at home or out in the bush or out in the woods or on any, any trail, keep your area nice and tidy and clean. Open this up a little bit more. A bit fiddly. That's it, let's open it a bit more. That's a better flame. Yeah, that's a better sizzle now. slowly cooking. I asked, had somebody ask me what frying pan this was and the size so what I'll do is I'll put it up on the screen because they said with the camera angle it looked like a children's toy. I suppose it's about the same size as a children's toy frying pan or pot. But it's just not to have not the biggest of breakfast, but a nice warm breakfast in your belly in the morning. And I think we could probably get two, two or three pans of bacon and egg cooked 
with the amount of fuel we have in here. The little windshield on the solar stove light or the pot stand, it acts pretty well as a windshield. If you saw my last video I did with it, I was boiling the water and there was a good bit of wind, it was blowing the flame all over the place, but it kept it alight and it gave us some pretty good times with boiling water in that situation. Well I was impressed. I'm I don't care about waiting a little bit longer for my coffee in the morning when I'm out in the bush or out walking. The whole idea is to get out there for me to just relax. I think I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. Take that off a moment. And this is going to be really hot, that's why. There we go, close that up, put it back in there. I'm going to look at is the lid on the solo stove 900ml pot. Will it fit? Oh, almost. Well, that's good to know. It'll be nice and secure. And it'll keep any of the flies or dirt out of what I'm cooking. Nice. It's sticking this time. Not being able to regulate the heat so easy. I should have put some butter in first, shouldn't I? Should have done sticking to the bottom this time. But I'm going to have that caramelised flavour. Right, that bacon is actually cooked. But I don't want a chance of burning because I want to eat this as my breakfast. And normally I'd cook it a bit more. Get over it. I've been struggling behind the camera trying to stretch around to do this. That's cooked, that's the taste of that's the least cooked piece. Throw an egg in with it. There's room there for a second egg and a bit more bacon, to be honest. 
I'm going to have this as a scrambled egg. I'll give you a tip holding this frying pan because this handle squeezes in and locks around. <coughs> Excuse me, I have done it. I've been holding it too tight and I've lost half my food. So try and keep your fingers or your thumb in between there to stop it happening. Of the handle there, see? One of my dogs down the bottom, sniffing. Now this isn't the best, if anything, this is the worst I've done cooking bacon and eggs on any of my camp stoves or hiking stoves. Uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work cooking on this, I think. It can be done, as you can see. You're going to have to cook it so you at least got some warm food in your belly. There we go. Cooked bacon and eggs. Not the best, but still smells tasty. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. I can just taste it starting to catch at the bottom, but that's all right. I know what I will do is I'm going to go and grab some water. I'm actually making myself a pot of coffee, or a cup of coffee, should I say, and the rest of the fuel here. Mm. Oh, actually, before I show you this bit, it's actually the snuffer ring too. Close that off. Fork to lift that up. Just go off. And just drop that on there. It should put it out, but it isn't working. Oh, there it goes, going out slowly. It's fighting to stay alight. Oh, there it is, and I had it open at the front. Make sure you lock it down there. Yep. I had that bit clipped up, so we had the air going and keeping it going. So make sure you lock that down into place. Then it went out. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please go down below and click on that subscribe button and the bell button next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and click the like button too and if you are a subscriber again I thank you very much I feel a bit black but that's going to be okay so until next time get out there have some fun and take care I'm going to enjoy eating the rest of this. See you later.